Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Iron Panther Presents. Uh, today, Stacy and I say goodbye for the love of Jason uh, on Urban Movie Channel, as this is episode six and the season finale of season one. Uh, we don't know we got renewed for a season two, at least I don't know. Um, but it did end with a few cliffhangers, so they do give you something to wait for when it comes to 2021, when it's all black. Um. <laughs> Speaking of all black, um, so this show was uh, was created by the lead uh, character, uh, Terrell Woodbury, plays uh, Jason Grant. He's also the creator of the show. Um, as a black man, um, as I am, and he is, and the Tommy Black cast, I was very, I'm very interested to see how a black man makes a show where the only woman that can get a black man to marry them is a Latin woman. Please note. No black woman on the show was able to achieve this goal of actually marrying a black man. Alisa, Alicia didn't achieve it. Uh, Carmen didn't achieve it. But Lisa, a Puerto Rican from New York, achieved it because she's not black. <laughs> oh, man. She is divorced, so technically. Yeah, see how that worked out for her. And, that, and she's so bad off, she had to go to a white man who apparently was... I wish what happened. I can't find a man, so I'm get a white man. See how that worked out for. Her. Another thing: Why do black people make shows where all white people are better than them? I, Except for four hearts. What's up? Except for four hearts. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Thank you for four hearts for making a show where the white man actually was, you know, poor and living off somebody and needed assistance. <laughs> as opposed to the well-off, well-educated stereotype of having good credit and therefore like slumming it when they reach out and, 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 and act, date someone of the black persuasion um, or someone who's not white and at their white level. Lacey going to that party was just sad and, and I don't know why a black man would put a, a, a black character in that situation, that stereotypical situation where they're like, I just don't belong here. I'm not in your world of wealth and white privilege. Well, I give him credit that he actually didn't have the white people being racist I, assholes. She invented it all in her head. That's true. That's true. She projected it out. That's very true. Because it's interesting how when she was with her friend, she was actually ashamed of Stephen to the point that she wouldn't tell them about her about him. Then she gets with his fam friends or family, and somehow she's ashamed of herself, and she don't want to be there because she feels less than. Right, and everybody was perfectly nice to her. Nobody had anything bad to say, and I thought if anything, they would be like, "Oh, you know, you brought this bartender," you know. I thought it would be more of a class thing than a racial thing. As we talked but about. Even them, they were tripping. They were like, oh, oh, okay. you're an actress. Okay. Is a part oh, okay. Oh, that show. Yeah, I think I saw you on it. You know, they were just cool. They were like, okay. Now, when Steven's brother said, uh, Steven, Steven's, when they, uh, Steven's sister-in-law, Steven's sister-in-law, his brother's wife said, oh, I like your hair. That's why I thought it was going to go bad. And I, I thought she was going to be like, can I touch it? Like, I thought it was going to be like that kind of shit. I mean, to the point. If she was natural, I probably would be like, yeah, but. You no, know, she had regular straight hair. <laughs> regular, <laughs> regular condition straight hair. <laughs> yeah. Like, if she went in there looking like this, then that would have been like, oh. <laughs> I've only seen it I on TV. Like, oh, no, 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 no. Also, I thought all the staff at this white rich party were going to be some type of minority, like either black or Latino or something. Like I just knew, I just knew like Lacey was going to be like the only people I see here that look like me are the help. I thought they were going to go that route, but uh, they didn't. Um, I like how in the end, uh, the woman that everyone was talking about was a very, very, very pasty white woman to be the opposite of Lacey. Um, and uh, I, I, I thought that was an interesting move. And wife number three. And wife number three of whoever. Also, we have no idea what Steve does or his family does. This dialogue that's very vague of so-and-so wants to talk to you about that thing so we can do that stuff that's going to lead to something. What? Like, what, what do y'all do? Like, what do you, are you investors? Is it real estate? I mean, is it the stock market? Huh? 
They're white. They do everything. I'm just saying, is it cocaine? <laughs> I mean, what do you what do you do for a living? I mean, do you do you own like like some grocery stores? I mean, it's like it, it's just always very vague terms of of stuff. So you know something's happening, but you're not sure what the hell is actually happening. I thought he was in some type of entertainment, but I think I'm confusing my shows. Yeah, yeah, you were because they, they they gave no definition whatsoever what Steve <laughs> does or anything he does because he's because he's rich. He has remember. Um, here we go again. When the the white dude that was dating the 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 uh, the pro black best friend, and he was like, "I'm gonna go home with my good credit and kiss my dog in the mouth," and da da da. Like I'm just every white stereotype you can bring up. Um, I mean, L- L- Lacey had a breakdown, but it was her own on her own doing. Um, so then she runs back to her black world where she feels like she's at least equal to an extent. But even then, it took it took to the last minute that she was like, "Hey guys, hey guys." At Jason's party, where they ma- he he and Cody magically start their business, and they decide to go to work to do it. Like you, you go to a business meeting to be like, "Hey, we started our own firm, so we're out." Like, why would you go to the business meeting? I don't, I don't understand that. I was wondering when they were looking at um, I guess lease space or whatever. Like, have they even quit yet? I mean, the answer was no, they hadn't. And I was like, you, I mean, you looking again, yeah, you're looking at lease space. You got your Carmen is like decorating the place. Maybe your mom, maybe Jason's mom is helping or something. I don't even know. Then, and then I'm like, and then they, again, they all have, they all have their, their, um, the opening party. And I was like, oh, oh, okay. They don't do a very good job of showing you how much time is, is, is changed between scenes. Um, this is particularly like bad when, um, you, you look at, um, uh, what's his name? What's his name? Uh, Eric's and Lisa's uh, lunch, uh, dinner with uh, with uh, with Eric's parents, and like they're sitting up there arguing, and I'm like, okay, so Sam and his wife show up. You know, Sam's wife is, if not on alcohol, she's on some type of edibles or some other shit. Like they got their own thing issues. With- Lisa, I'm sorry. Huh? I was wondering what she slid Lisa across the table. Yeah, I, I mean, I didn't know it was an edible or ecstasy or something, but it, it was it was something she was like, something to make you feel better. So Eric's issues over Lisa's, his father-in-law, trying to help them out. You know, what are your thoughts? Is, is, is Eric in his right to want to be like he's the man and provider for his family? I mean, I'm not a man, so I get it that you want to build your own. Like, you don't want to be holding to be, be holding to another man. I totally get that. But at the same time, if you marry a woman who, according to her, live as accustomed to a certain lifestyle, um, you might want to accept a little bit of help. Or you think about that before you marry her. Again, if you were this man, like, I'm the man of the house, I'm in charge, I'm the big man, why would you be with somebody who has more than you? Like, you already putting yourself in a position where you cannot give her the life she's grown accustomed to. And somehow she stepped down from the pedestal to be with you. She settled. And so to a certain extent, and then she like talking shit, like like at the dinner table. The argument was interesting because Sam, Eric's dad, was somehow trying to be like, "Well, I don't know why your why your father in law is getting to your business," but then he's steadily getting into their business and souping Eric's head up about how did I teach you to be a man and to be a provider for your family? Like, I'm like, I'm like, you you need to mind your business. Like, let me and my wife work this shit out, and we'll get back with you. And Eric is like, hey, I'm, I'm going to get this principal job. Like, all of a sudden, a principal is balling out to to make the, the, to pay the, the mortgage. I think it depends on the school. He ain't, he ain't that type of school. I mean, I promise you. I mean, this is a, this is a public education shit. He may, it may be high school, but he ain't balling. I, I mean, if you're in an apartment right now, you ain't moving up to the, the, to, to the, to the penthouse. Like, I, I'm pretty sure. Um, but it, an apartment. I know. I'm saying like this. It's smaller. I'm just saying, and I'm sure the house that she was, the way she was describing this lavish house, there, I mean, that her dad was going to pay for, it seemed like it was going to be a pretty nice place that they probably couldn't afford. And we don't know what Lisa does for a living because now she wants to do fashion or whatever. Didn't the mom say she, I can't remember. Well, she's going to, whatever she, do, she does now, she wants to move into fashion, whatever that means. Right. So I'm like, that's starting a business. That's more money that you're going to you're gonna have to put into this to get started. So that was never really fleshed out, like what she like what she did for a living. Um, anyway, my point is after this after this awkward family dinner, immediately after that, they're at Jason's coming out party for his job and Kobe, and then all of a sudden Eric is a principal. Like he is, I'm like, what, how much time? Like, 
has passed. He, he and Lisa are doing fine. They're happy, giddy that, you know, Eric is, you know, now, now principal, good news. Lacey uh, finally reveals to her friends, minus Steven, for the record. So she manless um, by her own doing. But she up there finally admits that she got a recurring job on the show. So they're happy about that. Uh, Brian is there. Best friend Brian is there. That's when Lacey and Brian say, shots, shots, and they start drinking. Alcohol is not your friend. Because then you end up fucking your friend, as we saw between Lacey and Brian the next morning. Um, but anyway, let's get back to the main story, which is Jason. Carmen shows up. Once again, somehow think in weeks, weeks, mind you, somehow she thinks he's changed. Somehow Jason's now realized that he's been selfish and therefore he should just drop to his knees and propose to Carmen right then and there. I agree with I agree with Jason that this wasn't the time or place to be like, why can't we figure this out? What happened to us? He's talking about somehow we lost what worked between us. Nothing worked between you. That's why you broke up because Karma wants to be married and you don't. So that's never worked. Mm -hmm. So I'm not, I mean, you're exactly who you were two years ago and a few weeks ago, the last time y'all tried to get back together again. And somehow she thought he was going to change in the last couple weeks after she yelled at him because he hasn't changed. I don't know. Anyway, she pre I knew she was pregnant. When she kept on talking to him, she's like, I'm about to go. To I'm like, I started screaming my ass off. Please don't be pregnant. Don't don't do this. Just don't, oh, yeah. don't, don't be predictable. Yeah, kind of in that little sex scene they had. Right. Now, now for the record, they had a lot of sex. I mean, they had sex at night, I'm assuming. They had sex again in the morning. They were together for a couple of days. So when he's like, oh, man, you know, we just we just getting to know each other. Ain't nothing serious. You wear condoms with people who aren't serious. That's what non-serious people do. People in relationships don't wear condoms because they think they're going to stick around for any kind of, you know, consequences of said unprotected penis, um, which is babies. Mm -hmm. Her, um, I didn't like, uh, so Carmen's declarative statement, like, you better not even ask, ask the question, whose baby is this? Again. You had a fiance. Right. For a, a year. A week later, you bone and Jason. A week later, here we are. So there's a lot of room for whose baby is this? Now, a different question is, there's no doubt of who baby you want it to be. That's not the same question. So you do get a pregnancy test, Carmen, because you were boning somebody before you boned me. Immediately before you boned me. Like it, you like broke up with, with oh boy on Monday, you were in Jason's bed on Tuesday. Oh, Maury needs to show up. So I'm sorry, but you know, we we had we got work together. We got a Maury's Jerry Springer, somebody. Just to make sure, just to make sure that who is the father. But anyway, clap. Hmm? If she's so sure he's the father, why not like give him an option of being an actual father? No, like, she wants to. Telling him, you gonna take the baby and leave without even giving him any type of options if he is the father. And then, what exactly was her game plan? If she's already already accepted a job in Washington D.C. You just see, you're at this man's party where he's celebrating the opening of his business in Los Angeles. How did she, how did she think this conversation was going to go? Hey, baby, I realize I should put a ring on your finger. I'm being selfish because at 30 something, I should realize now that I need to marry you as soon as possible and be the wife and be the husband you always want me to be. I'm moving to Washington, D.C. now. Oh, I'll pack up my shit and, and close my business and move and move with you. Are you going to, like, not take that job? I think she feels like he's going to grovel and say, please, please, baby, don't go, don't go. And she'll be like, okay, I'll stay if you marry me. And that's that. And what does she do for a living? What does any of these people do for a living? Except for Jason and Brian. Have that's it. And Lacey. And Eric. The main okay. four. The main four. The main four. Everybody else, you don't know what the fuck they do for a living. 
Like, Carlin, what kind of job you got that you got to go to D.C. that you can't do in L.A.? Why did you accept the job knowing that you're pregnant and you kind of want the baby daddy to somewhat be in your life? I mean, it don't make any sense. Like, she, it was just it was the wrong place, wrong time to tell him some stuff like that. You don't tell you don't tell a person that they're about to be a, a, a parent. Well, I guess you can already do that to a man. You can't tell a man that you're about to be. I thought you can't be the other way around. That wouldn't make any sense. You, a woman cannot just tell a man in public. By the way, you got me pregnant, and we ain't together. You know what I'm saying? We purposely are not together. So you just a random ex are coming up to me to be like. You want birth? I mean, you want some child support or something? I mean, what, what are you trying to get out of this? I told her she wants him to grow up and beg her to stay and put a ring on it. And put a it's ring a on it. It's a trap baby. It's a trap baby. That's, that's not, man, that's not, that's not okay. It's a trap baby, if he don't fall for it, then it's going to be a guilt baby. It's going to be a what baby? A guilt baby. Oh. Take the baby and run. Like, you know your daddy ain't shit? I was like, uh, well, but you knew that when you had me though, right? So no, you can't be in her son. I, we don't need you. Six months later, they're in child support court. And I thought you didn't. Need <laughs> mm. Oh, so uh, Maybe his sister. Like we need new clothes. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm sure you guys own business. He'll be all right. I mean, I mean, I'm sure he has no problem making a paycheck. This is being a daddy. I'm sure he'll be like, mm, I really don't got time for that. But I mean, here's a check. I mean, once we get that, once we get that that uh, that DNA test, just to make sure, um, then you can you know I can cut you a check, not not a problem. Um, Alexandria, his sister, uh, finally brings her girlfriend, who does have has no lines of dialogue whatsoever. So I don't even know the significance of why she was there, and then just so her mother Patricia can be like, hey, why don't you hook this pretty girl, light skinned girl that you got over here up with your brother? who she has to know her son has no desire whatsoever to be married to anybody. Um, just so she can have some grandbabies. I'm like, you can adopt, uh, Patricia. Uh, Car- I mean, Alexandria can adopt. Or just admit that, hey, I'm gay, mom. And this is my girlfriend. But maybe, maybe that'll be season two. I don't know. I, mean, I, thought, they were gonna, I thought Patricia was going to catch uh, Alexandria and her girlfriend kissing at the party or something. I was like, oh, okay. Well, that'd be, that would be, that would be interesting. Well, remember how the show started? Jason at the therapist crying about oh, his lack Carmen. of a companionship. Yeah. But yet, every time he gets an opportunity to link up, he does not. No, because he don't want to be committed. Companionship and commitment are necessarily not necessarily the same things. And he's like, nah, I can't really do all that. But then we realize that Jason, he, he just, he is selfish. I mean, he, he is, but I mean, he's, he's just not ready to be married. Again, I believe he, he believes I could be with one, relatively one woman for my whole life, but I ain't putting a ring on her finger because that's too much like we're together. And then like, now, now I'm stuck with her. So now you got a girl who's allegedly carrying your child. And now you sitting in the corner crying because you can't be with her. <laughs> but you did it, bro. I, mean, I, I don't know why I can't. It got a lot of things going on. Like, he don't know if he's upset that he's just about to have a baby he can't be with. You just yelled at this woman and told her, why are you trying to threaten me and trap me with this baby? And then, yeah, as soon as she says she's leaving, he's like, oh, my God, I'm, oh, what, what? I thought we were going to work this out. I mean, I know I kicked you out of my house and just told you, you, you know, you, you're a temporary thing, but I thought you'd just stick around and put up with my shit until I, fit, I finally decide to marry you. Thought he had time, but he don't. Anyway. Let's get to the fun part. So uh, in, the, in the first episode, uh, Brian told Eric and Jason they were having a, uh, uh, a best man wedding slash the wood moment at the, at, uh, when, Eric, when, when Eric was getting married. And this is directly turned into the best, uh, the, the best man. Because mm-hmm. Brian wakes up with uh, Lacey on top of him. Uh, after all the shots, hence alcohol is not your friend. They want you to know that, that alcohol re- directly resulted in two relatively. Why was uh, Lacey's nipple so hard? Like I was. Yeah, it was cold. I mean, I was, I was looking at everybody. I was like, no one else is like that. Like, this, did the director not see that? Does she not feel that? Like, are we not going to fix this? Like, is this part of the plot? I mean, your dress is tight as shit. I mean, is that supposed to be on purpose? Like, I, I was confused. I wonder why they were just like like that. I mean, somebody should have fixed that. But anyway, I'm sorry. I just it's it it hard for me not to notice. 
they were they were, were, were very prominent. I have attention to detail. Excuse me. Brian and Lacey, as I said, I digress, uh, were on top of each other in the morning at Brian's place. Uh, and I was like, I noticed that when they got up, neither one of them were like, oh my God, like, I can't believe we did this, kind of like the best man. They were more like, again, like. But you know, Lacey used to always try to drag Brian. I, I know, right? I don't know what was going, what's going with that. So they get up. Lacey's on, on top. She gets up. She gets dressed. Brian steps, stands up, hears the door knock, and says, you're welcome. Very odd thing to say to your friend that you just got done having sex with. This is the first time. Like, I graced you with my penis, and you should, why, why are you complaining? Uh, at this point, really, I thought Jason was going to be the one to get with Lacey. I mean, she's the girl in the group. He's single. He is single. Well, and most of the time he's single, single. Uh, he is single because Brian had a fiance named Alicia who has now shown up to the door after weeks, months of them being separated, I guess. We don't even know. And that is the, that's the next uh, cliffhanger. Uh, Jason finds out that he's going to be a daddy and Brian opens the door with his previous fiance who left him because he couldn't commit uh, who apparently was doing some, something with someone on social media that they won't tell us about, but Brian saw it and it broke his heart. But Brian was constantly trying to be with other women while he had a fiance to the point that she broke, ran into his uh, uh, relationship counseling session, which is quite unprofessional. Um and then one had dinner with him, was like, hey, get your shit together. Can you commit? And he's like, mm, no, I don't. I don't think I'm going to do that. Um, so then she's like, I'm out. And now, so they're single. They're broken up. And yet he's still sitting around trying to figure out things. She needs to be sitting at home waiting for him. <laughs> Men. Yes. This classic. Anyway, what's going to happen? What's Alicia going to say when she finished walking through the door and see best friend Lacey sitting up there in her drawers? Why didn't Lacey? First of all, why were they on the couch? Why not? Did we had sex on the couch? Okay, whatever. I mean, what? <laughs> she had to knock at the door. She could have went to the bathroom or whatever. Um, him opening the door, knowing that girl is right here, like. So this is that class like outside or. This is that classic TV moment where like they people don't use peepholes. Like he just opened it. So he didn't go, if he, I'm sure if he was a peephole, he'd been like, shit. And then he would be like, hey, Lacey, move, like go somewhere else. One, that's his best friend. That is her, that is his place. One, so old girl shouldn't have to knock. Like Alicia shouldn't have to knock. Like they were living together. They that they, they were engaged. I would imagine that's the place that they that, that their primary residence has where they live together. She should have had a key. So she really should have, should have walked in. If she felt that she had even the justification to show up there without calling, I would imagine she felt like she could have just knocked on the door as, as people do to Jason's place all the time. Like nobody knocks in that damn place. So I just assumed that she would have walked in and saw them in bed together. But that was maybe that was a bit too much that they wanted the tension of the door mm -hmm. right here. And, mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. He's like, hey, how's it going? Now, he, he won't be stupid enough to invite her in. I'm pretty sure he'll be like, like, he'll say, let's go outside and have a conversation. Like, I'm upset with you, and I don't feel like we should. you should be in my place. He can play it off. He can play it off. Mm. If he's standing in the doorway like that, she's going to be like, who's in here? And then barge, like, around him and then see Lacey right there. I see. It could go that route. It could go that route. Um, I, think she's, I think she wants to confront, talk to Brian in a more – what's been going on. I know you've been trying to get a hold of me. Like maybe, she, you know, like, like I, I think because she was, if she was going to take that approach, I think she would have came in blazing. Like as soon as he opened the door. Right. But the fact that you're standing there blocking the door, like, Hey, how you, how you doing? Angling yourself. It's like, mm, what are you doing? I, all right. Mm -hmm. I, I, I can, I, 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 I can see that. But yeah, I see that. So we, we got to see if there's a season two. We got to see how season two takes it. 
He could be just because you're standing in front of the door doesn't mean in in the doorway doesn't mean you're blocking the door. And she makes an effort to come in and he like, hey, like he's like, let's not do that. That's blocking the door. And I'll give you that. But right now he's just opening the door and standing in front of it. He didn't invite her in. No, he didn't. But again, if she left him and therefore he feels like the wounded party, he could be like, I'm not going to let you in here because apparently you don't want to be here no more. So how about you stay your butt outside and we have a conversation then? Hmm. Maybe. He, he has an option. He has options. I mean, he don't got a lot of them, but he got some options to be like, now, to your point, if Lacey's car's outside, then she's going to be like, who is that? Like, I know your ride. Who's that ride at X o'clock in the morning? If that was the case, I think she would have came in like, who's in here? Kind of thing. All right. I was saying, too, I mean, that could be a, that could be an option. Like, he could be like, she'd be like, hey, so, uh, you got some other woman in here? Because I'm like, I saw, I know this car over here. Like, look, you don't have to worry about that. My best friend's Lacey here. She had a hard night. She's sleeping in the back. I'm sure, I'm sure by now, Alicia has met Lacey. So again, they could, they still could play it off. Yeah, they can play it off. Lacey slept on the couch last night because she was drunk, too drunk to right? drink. Right? There you go. As long as there's no hickeys on him or something, or like, you know, some obvious something. Condoms, some used condoms on the ground when she comes in the door. Do people wear condoms on the show? <laughs> <laughs> Tariq did, and I appreciate Effie. Yeah, when oh. Effie took his man head. <laughs> What's up? What say? <laughs> Effie took his man head. No, Destiny did that in book one. He did too. Tariq never is the aggressor in the relationship. It's always the women. That's true. That's true. He, he ain't that dude. He mm-hmm. ain't that dude. Um, I'm sorry. Anyway. Um, are, are you looking forward to a season two of uh, uh, For the Love of Jason? You know, I just the whole baby thing is a turnoff. Like, either it's going to be baby mama drama, which I'm not looking forward to, or she's lying to get attention, and I ain't looking at it forward to that shit. Um, but I could totally see her doing some shit like that. Like, I'm pregnant, and I'm leaving next week. Just to try to get him to marry her. I, I mean, she magically has a miscarriage and now she has to get pregnant for real. <laughs> that's a lot, but all right. I, 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 I would, it happens on the lifetime all the time. These hey, also, I'm going to say this is like a lifetime. Pregnant, try to keep a man and then they can't get pregnant so they go and chop up a woman and take the baby. Actually, that's what I was watching with the girl from uh, Power. Which one? The uh, jukebox's girlfriend. She she was in a movie. She chopped up the woman? She wasn't a chopper. She was the pregnant woman. They got chopped up? Well, she didn't get chopped up. It, it, it She got stalked. Okay. She napped, Okay. And the lady was waiting for her to deliver the baby. Oh, okay. And then it was taking too long. So it turned into like misery type beats. It was just, it was crazy. It was basically single white female stalking some okay. pregnant okay. black lady. All right, so I, I doubt any of that happens in season two uh, for the love of Jason. <laughs> um, Jason, Jason, mulling over the idea of being a father, he's calling. I mean, he's calling Carmen. She ain't answering the phone. He go. He go I mean, depending with the budget that they have, I mean, maybe he flies to DC to try to you know win her back or whatever uh, before she goes. Um, maybe Cody and he have problems with the firm. Uh, their former boss tries to shit on them. Depending, again, depending on how far they want to go with the whole business, you know, uh, competition thing. You know, they, they they try to steal each other's clients. That could be a thing. He could have sued his boss for for um, racism, saying "boy" in the meeting. I'm pretty sure he could have had a racial discrimination claim, which uh, could have made him some money. But for some reason, he didn't want to go that route. Um, that would have been an easy way to start your business um, with some with some lawsuit money. Um, like you know, Eric and Lisa ain't really got no drama. He just needs to, you know, get his backbone and realize that if father law wants to help him, that doesn't make him less of a man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you you, you got to move your family forward. I mean, you're still the husband. I mean, she ain't dating her daddy. I mean, he's just insecure all the way around. That's a whole nother show. Hey, and blood only. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just I'm just I'm just saying like Eric, Eric he's short I mean he, I think he's got a lot of things going on he got short man complex you know what I'm saying he ain't really balling like that in the in the financial department all his friends both of his friends are taller than him more successful than him 
Um, he, he's a Kevin. He's a Kevin Hart without the money. Like that's what he is. Short black man with a non-black wife, um, and try, trying to come up and 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 he, but he ain't got the he ain't got the Kevin Hart money to make himself feel better and feel secure in his relationship. Mm-hmm. Now that Kevin Hart was secure in his relationship. His storyline next next uh, season. What? I mean, Lisa go through like a divorce separation or something. He's like, please, baby, baby, please. <laughs> Hey, one of us. Hey, well, uh, no, I was gonna say the one ex who tried to hump Jason comes back to try to get him. I was like, obviously, that's the kind of stuff that like hurts him. He's short. Again, his Jason's taller. Brian's taller. In his mind probably better looking, more successful, got better looking women. And he's like, even my ex wanted Jason. Like, man, I ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? So he he probably he probably got some got some complex issues. That's why that's probably of the three, he's the only one that was willing to get married because he's like, wow. I got a woman that looks good that wants to marry me. Mm-hmm. And she ain't black, so I'm, I'm making progress. <laughs> I'm just, I'm serious. I'm just, I mean, dude, for a black man to write a story where black women look this desperate is, is, is sad to me. It really is sad to me. And, and dark skinned women just getting shit on all the way around. But I mean, no black woman can achieve a, 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 a husband. Man. Anyway, uh, I, it's good production value, though. I mean, again, I, I, we've seen a lot of urban movie channel properties uh, that, that they don't live up to the same production value, I got to say. Um, so uh, thank you guys. For, uh, anything else for, uh, for season? No. It was, only 30, it was only 27 minutes an episode. I mean, the fact we talked this long, we, we've already extended past yeah. the episode itself. I um, just hope Lacey isn't pregnant. What's up? I hope Lacey isn't pregnant. Oh, and Alicia isn't coming back because she found out she was pregnant. Like, please don't involve the children into this bullshit. I was about to say, I was about to say, Insecure did the exact same thing. You have to shows like this. The only thing that complicates things is more lovers and more kids. Like that's the only thing. Like they actually did STDs though. Like uh, one time that and uh, and Terry told me about that. And I, and I thought like I was like this show like uh, I guess Issa Rae's character. One of the no, I think they. That her boyfriend ended up with like chlamydia or something, you know, like something that could be cured. And then he had to go running around telling people, hey, I think I gave you something. And he had to work that out. <laughs> um, I was hoping, I, I'm kind of like, again, a show like this, that's the only options you got. You got cheating lovers, you got STDs, or you got babies. Like, that's the only way you can really bring kind of relationship drama to this. And I was kind of hoping for the STD route. Like, that would be hilarious. That I'm would be hilarious. And babies. Yeah, because that, that gets tired and it gets complicated when the baby actually comes. You got to deal with that. Um, but yeah, if Lacey somehow ends up ends up pregnant again, again, I, I hope season two, they kind of explain that this ain't the first time that maybe Lacey's and Brian have gotten together or something or like, because they, they were just too casual about it. They were, that, that was not their biggest issue. Like, the, you know, that the two best friends had sex. Like they were like, uh, you know, it's, it's Tuesday, especially Brian. I mean- I was like, well, what else you want me to do? Uh, like, I can't even say you're welcome. I just can't believe you said that. Like, that's that's ego right there. Good lord. Yes. I mean, you were sad and lonely. He didn't even ask where Steve was. Like, that's how. Like, where's Steve? And then she says, "Oh, we broke up. Oh, why? Oh, you know, I'm just, you know, I, you know, she's like, hey, I, I'm just not ready for his world. You know, I'm not white. Some stupid shit. So then maybe Brian's like, hey, I can, you know, I'm here for you. Like she's in a vulnerable state or, you know, she's trying to get, you know, try to get some comeback penis, you know, something like, like it'd be something, but we don't even acknowledge where Steven is, what's the status of their relationship. I mean, just silliness. I know she felt silly, but what she did, you know, but what she acted, I'm like, we don't even get into that at all. Anyway, we'll see you again next year, guys. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to get renewed. Uh, some of these other shows get renewed on this channel. Uh, so I'm pretty sure they're going to be all right. Um, and we'll be here for 2021 uh, for the love of Jason continues. Uh, but again, uh, we're out here. So if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. A like on the video, comment on the video, share the video. Please let us know what you think of the show, what you think of us talking about the show, what do you want to see in season two, what other all black properties are you uh, interested in? Um, we got a couple more videos coming for you for the channel, uh, uh, for the Urban Movie channel. Um, and uh, uh, Stacey and I will see you again later.